Well, today is the day. We're gonna take this thing into scrap. Because I got my Dodge back. That's right. I got my Dodge back. We're going to take this thing for a test drive. So this year for safety, it really didn't need much. Buddy told me that uh, just little things here and there. I'm still waiting for some parts to come in, but it's non-safety essential parts. Uh, like my exhaust gas temperature thing broke there last year, so he's got me a new one coming in. And summer's here, so we are going to go wash this thing today. This will be the first wash since it was undercoated in the fall. Uh, we got the trailer hooked up. We just got to bring the jack the rest of the way up. We got to chain down this uh, car. Well, not chain it down, but strap it down. And we're going to take it in the scrap today. Honestly, I've missed my truck for so long. I sent it into him when the box was full of snow, so I don't even know what's in here for stuff. We got oil, diesel, gas, water? Yeah, there's lots of stuff in the back of here. But, uh... Yeah, we're going to take this into scrap today. Um, scrap prices around me are $140 a ton today. Uh, I phoned last night, they told me they're still open even with the coronavirus. So that is a bonus for me. I'm kind of excited to get some of this stuff out of my damn yard. Uh, I was gonna take this all in in the fall, obviously not this one, but scrap was at $80 a ton. Now with this coronavirus, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if scrap's gonna go up. I don't know if scrap's gonna go down. And I kinda need my yard back now so the Buick's gonna go in I just got to move some stuff and throw it on the inside make it a little bit more of a safer load because apparently somebody I know doesn't know how to stuff a car very well and then once that thing goes in we're going to try to take this Lumina in because I want it gone I really want it gone and it's full it's, it's very full. And then if I can get the Lumina in, I'm gonna try to take this one in, cause it's pretty much full. And uh, get that one in. And then I might even get this one on the trailer. But the problem with this one is, there's actually parts in this car that I wanna keep. I wanna keep the motor, I wanna keep the transmission, I wanna keep the axles, I wanna keep the struts. Stuff like that. There's quite a bit of stuff in this I actually wanna keep. I wanted to keep the dash bar, the factory one, but that ain't gonna happen. I'm gonna let the bumper go because I really don't think it's worth cutting that thing off. Rules are changing so fast. Now my bumpers can be wider. So that bumper is two years ago ruled, so I'm not too really worried about it. And this is something I, that's already been cut off other cars and re-welded onto this one. So it's had a good life. You know you hit half decently hard when you bend 5 sixteenths like that. That's kind of crazy. Anyway, so I'd like to try to get two, car, three cars in today and maybe the fourth one on the trailer. The weather is amazing today. The wind is just kind of high. It's like plus 17 or something today. Maybe not that hot. With the wind, it maybe feels like 15. But we're hopefully going to get some of this yard back today. The, uh, that van's got to go in as well. That thing's done. Only thing left I got to do is take the sign off. Uh, the Civic is not full yet, so the Civic isn't going to go in. A lot of you guys have actually been asking about this Honda. Here's the story about it. I bought it for scrap, the motor's blowing up, and it's pretty rotted. And it came with some nice drag slicks! So, uh, not much I can do with this car actually. So, interior's a little beat up. pretty rusty like I don't know why a, a car would rot the top of the doors off like this is actually like rotted right off so I don't know why I did that but we're just gonna fill this thing up for scrap and take it in tried to part it out but nobody wants any damn parts off of it that's the old Mazda van I used to drive that went to sweet peas got rolled over and then got blown up at rivers off-road race so it'll be going into scrap, but it's not full yet. Like, still got all this space for activities. Like, look at activity space. So it's gotta be filled up. But the Honda Odyssey van is full, so it's gotta go in. The Toyota Corolla that is way back there is full as well, so it's gotta go in. But. 
Lots of stuff to be doing, that's for sure. So we got the Buick ready to go in. Let's go get this thing crushed and get some cash and say good riddance to this piece of crap. Can't believe I've had you this long. Should have never bought you. Waste of money, waste of time, but let's go get some money for it. Well, I lost a lot of money on that Buick. I lost about a hundred bucks from what I paid to what I got. But um, the weather's really crappy up here. We're going to uh, head home and see if the weather's this bad at the house. But uh, yeah, we might not do some more cars today if this is gonna continue, this crappy weather. Uh, so maybe I can't get these other cars out. The truck is just digging a hole. I hooked some chains to it. I tried to drag it out. Actually, to be honest, I just tried to back into it and then be able to lift it up. But I'm not able to do that because of this big chunk of ice in front of it. So then I hooked chains to it thinking I could just drag it over top and it just hit the chunk of ice and instantly stopped. And then the truck dug holes. So I don't think the lumen is going to be going into scrap today. I was kind of hoping it would, but look how thick the ice is back here. That's a, that's a full-size rim buried in the ice. Look at that, there's a jack. That's not frozen in. But anyway, I don't think this thing's going to be going into scrap today. For some strange reason, I just don't think it's going to be going. It's like twisted right into the side of the Honda. But I did move it. There's where the rear tire was. I went and put on my new rubber boots. I'm tired of walking around in my shoes everywhere back here. But I don't think this is going to go into scrap. And that one there, I want to save the motor out of it. So I don't really, oh, there's a hole there. Don't really want to pull this one out yet. And if I can't get this one, then I definitely can't get this one. But if I pull this one ahead, maybe I can, maybe I can undo everything and just have this motor on the trailer. Get it ready. Maybe. Maybe I'll try to hook up to this one today. Be a lot more teardown than I actually wanted to do, but if it's what's available, it's what's available. Let's, uh, let's try hooking to the front of this one and see if we can pull this one out. Yeah, I guess I've just tried to jump the gun a little bit too much on the early season scrapyard running because even this one will not come out. All I'm going to do is damage my truck and my trailer. So, like, there's quite a bit of force on this. When you have a truck with a locker in the back and she's starting to dig holes like that and the front tire is digging holes like this, and my truck weighs 9,000 pounds, that stuff's not ready to come out. So, it's gonna back up, unchain, and I guess that's the last car for scrap today. But, yeah. I thought maybe I could take this stuff in, but I guess not. I guess it's just too early in the season. The ice just hasn't let it go yet. But, oh well. All I'm doing is wrecking my backyard. God damn, look at the yard. I need to get like all this topsoil gone. That's what I really need to do. Three quarter gravel at all. I don't think it's in the works, but it'd not be nice, that'd be for sure. But yeah, I was just gonna keep the struts and the suspension and one axle out of this and maybe the motor because this motor didn't die and I didn't really store it well all year and I'd like to see if it still runs because as you guys know, I'm starting to run out of motors. But, yeah, the ice is just not letting go of its grip yet. So we're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Just gonna unhook the truck and park it off to the side and try to do something else. So all you guys that think this, I should have put down limestone or three quarter gravel, just so you know, when I moved into this place 10 years ago, I brought in 10 truckloads of limestone. See it? It's all just gone down and the topsoil's gone up, so I think something's got to be done about this driveway. And especially this, because 
Grass don't grow here. Grass just don't grow here. So we'll have to see what I can do. I'd like to get all this and build a berm on the back of my property because every year the water comes back in. So maybe that's something I'm gonna try to do this year. So every year I'm at the low point of this corner of the field. So all the water goes back here and it comes up to my property and in the spring it goes right over top of this berm. As you can see I built a little berm back when I had a tractor. I scraped it all and I kind of built this up but the water was so high this year it came over the berm and knocked a little bit of it down between these trees. So I'd like to build this berm back up. Make it so that you know the, car, the water doesn't come in my yard because if you tell like this water is pretty deep out here and it's already gone down quite a bit and I'm walking on ice. Ooh. Is that through? But as you can see everything that melts in this corner of the field comes right through the back of my property. So I just like to build a big berm to kind of stop it from coming into my property. But that's something I'm definitely gonna have to do this year. I'm gonna have to remove probably, well these two are going to scrap. Actually to be honest, all those are going to scrap. And then I can move all these three and uh, try to use my little Suzuki to build the berm. Because it needs a damn berm. God damn, maybe I'll even rent a skid steer and dig out some of the driveway and stuff, who knows. But it needs a berm this year, it definitely does. But I wanted to take three cars to scrap today and somehow I don't think that's gonna happen just because the ice is not letting the cars go yet. So, what a shame. The Lumina did not want to go, and that's one of the cars I definitely want to get rid of because it's full. This one didn't want to go, even though it's got four tires on it and the transmission's in neutral, she still did not want to go. And I didn't even try at this one, because this one here has got three V6 motors in it. So I, again, I didn't even want to try this one. So see the V6s in it? Yeah, they're right there. And then there's another V6 right here. And I think there's a four cylinder in this one as well. But like, I got to make this stuff so it's safe to transport. Like this glass is obviously going to come off, but it was probably negative 20 when I tried to jam all the stuff out here. But what a big uh, weather change from the scrapyard to here. It's about 20 minutes away from my house and it's not even raining here, but it was pouring over there. So we're going to have to find something else to do today. So. Thanks for watching the video. I got one car in the scrap and it's good riddance to that Buick, but these cars here are just not willing to give up quite yet. So thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you back here tomorrow.